OK YouTube and uh, Facebook. I am uh, making a video today, um, touching base, giving my final input for you know the election, the campaign, how it turned out, and uh, you know I am unbiased in my approach. Okay, a lot of you guys know on uh, YouTube because I have almost a thousand subscribers now. Uh, a lot of you guys know that I have been unbiased from the get-go with Romney and Obama and blah, 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 blah. Um, but I've seen so many people that are just praising the uh, second term of Barack Obama. And the funny thing is that every time I talk to these people, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Okay? Some people are saying that I have to endorse this guy because he is the president of the United States again. And truth be told, I never recognized the guy as the president of the United States um, because of the things that he's pulled. Okay, He's done things that should have had him impeached a long time ago. And uh, the thing is, I'm not upset that Romney lost, but I'm upset that Obama won. So I never liked either candidate to begin with. I thought that you know Romney was kind of shady. And, you know, I didn't think Obama was any better than that. You know, I thought he was worse because he passed the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act. That right there alone, but then you include the Fast and the Furious, the, the thing in Benghazi. If you, if you take all the stuff that happened in his first term and people actually did the research and were unbiased, I mean, because, come on, everybody that's, you know, voting for Obama, for the most part, was biased. Um, if it wasn't for that... No one would have voted for him. I guarantee it. No one would have voted for him. They actually could comprehend the things that were going on uh, in his first term. Okay, you had the National Defense Authorization Act. That means, okay, what that does is the government can detain people or execute them, including American citizens, without trial or anything. They just come into your house, they grab you, they take you away. And uh, by the way, guys, it's happened already, including two children that are minors. So, and, you know, some of them are dead. So, and this is something that Barack Obama passed. Okay? That should scare the shit out of you. But if that's not enough, you know, you have the, um, the Benghazi incident, the Fast and the Furious, which the Fast and the Furious uh, incident was... The government was supplying guns to the Mexican drug cartels, okay? And they are a big problem in this country, people, um, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, we have people like uh, Never Enough Ammo talking about how they found um, roadside bombs in Texas, okay? And similar incidents in Arizona. So, you know, these people are, are hurting American citizens. The government's giving them more weapons. And, I mean, they can't even validate why they did it. And uh, we all know it's a scheme to disarm the populace. And whether you're pro-gun or anti-gun, I'm just letting you know straight up, when the guns are gone, you have no way to uh, enforce your will upon the government. The government has full control. I guarantee you that. That's why the Second Amendment was there in the first place. Okay? Well-regulated militia. To keep the government in check. When you can't keep the government in check, you are at their mercy, such as the case with Nazi Germany, such as the case with China, such as the case with Soviet Russia. I mean, it and it, and it goes on and on and on. And, uh, you know, you have, you know, no control of your own destiny anymore. So, you know, you could hate on guns all you want, and it won't make any sort of difference. But, you know, and people are saying that I, you know, I should endorse this guy. I'm not going to. I refuse. Uh, I'm not going to endorse a guy that's hurting our country who's going to continue to hurt our country and make it worse. Uh, you know, there's a, um, a Facebook uh, group. It's called, uh, I Pledge Allegiance to My Country, Not My President. And you know what? I agree with that, that title right there. My country is what's important. The president, this president, if you could actually call him that, is not important to me. Uh, he's insignificant, and uh, he's only going to keep hurting this country. Um, and I'm not going to get into the specifics as to why people voted for him, but most of us know why people voted for him. Um, several reasons, and they are all biased reasons. Um, <clears throat> so, I just wanted to say that, 
And, you know, I'm very disappointed in the way that the election turned out. You know, the everyone's like, well, did you endorse Romney then? No, I didn't endorse Romney. I actually, the only person that ever hit home for me the whole time was Ron Paul. Because Ron Paul was real. Um, you know, I, I didn't like Romney. I'm sorry if anybody, you know, out there liked Romney. I, I didn't trust the guy. Um, I, I had you know, a bad feeling in my stomach about him becoming president. But at the same time, I already know what to expect with Obama. You know, uh, more change in the wrong direction. Uh, and I'm just, you know, I'm really worried for the future. Um, future generations are going to look on at us and, they're, you know, they're either going to be praising us because they're brainwashed or they're going to be nodding their heads and seeing that we had something great that we destroyed because we were, A, we were lazy, B, we didn't do any research, and uh, C, we just didn't come out of our box. We stayed in our box the, the whole the whole time. Um, you know, we stay in our little world, and there's so much out here that we don't explore. And uh, another thing I want to say is uh, people are saying that, uh, you know, this is my opinion. Well, no, it's not my opinion. Opinions are opinions. This is a fact. The fact of the matter is that he's done a lot of things that are anti-American, okay? Anti-constitutional. Things that should have had him impeached a long time ago. He shouldn't even have been in this election. We should have got him out. But of course, people are going to vote for him because, hey, they're biased. They don't want to look at the facts, okay? But I, I only use facts. I don't use opinions. I'm telling you what he's done, and what he's done is not good. So, with that said, I'm out of here, and uh, I probably won't be making any videos anytime soon. Um, and, I, and I'm just worried for the future. I'm worried about, you know, the anti-gun legislation and, uh, you know, more FEMA camps coming up around the country and this and that. And uh, if you think FEMA camps are just there to help the good citizens of this country, do some research. All right. Well, I'm out. Piedmont, you know, remember, anti-gun is anti-American, and pro-Obama is anti-American. Peace.